We're gonna win the second round for sure. Well, of course we will. But we've got some exciting news to listen to. Huh? I got a comment on my blog! Oh, that's so exciting! Oh my god! Oh, great. Congrats! I'm so happy for you, Rose. What did it say? It said... Cool. Classy, I like it. An internet classic. Welp, it's time for our audition. Everyone grab your instruments and go. Somehow, I don't feel as nervous this time. I think that's because it's a Wednesday. It's scientifically proven that nothing is scary on a Wednesday. Really? In my experience? Yes. <sighs> well, here we are again. Alright then students, quiet down, quiet down. Excuse me. If you don't shut up by the time I finish this sentence, we are going to have a problem. Good. This is the second round. Only bands with 35 out of 40 points will pass. And we each should give you a score out of 10, so do the mathematics yourself. So the bare minimum for Lyrical Lilac is five points? <laughs> we only got a two last time. I thought the Wednesday trick would work, but now I'm a lot more scared than last time. You will need to show raw talent or leave. Good luck. I'm gonna get up my iPod. I think we're gonna need a serious montage mix for this. I thought your performance was amazing, honey. <laughs> 10 points. It was fine, but needed work. I'd give it like a seven. I'd give it like a solid eight. You know, I could let you win right now by giving you 10 points, but I'm not gonna give you any, that was appalling. I'm so astounded by the quality of your work. 10 points! It was a bit of dry and the pastry needed more cooking. Five. I would give it like an eight or something, but the bagpipe solo in the middle was really off key, so I'll give you guys like a six and a half. Two, that was awful. You know, for saying you're a school band, you actually played really well. 10 points! Well, I did really like your performance, but I mean, it was kind of, I don't know, I thought that maybe some of the song could use some work. But seeing as you're just a school band, you get 10 points. <laughs> uh, it was great. 10 points. 10 points, my little band angels. I really enjoyed that. 10 points! That was really enjoyable. I'd definitely give it a 9. Great work, you lot. I'd give you a 10. You were on your way to victory right there. You're getting a 1. That's because I pity you. Be grateful for your one. Uh, Fantasia is up next. Oh, looks like we're up next. So no pony passed? That's a pretty good sign, right? Of course it's not a good sign. If no pony passed, and those ponies that didn't pass didn't completely freak out in front of Miss Lyrica, yelling and screaming and all that kind of stuff like we did on that first day we met, and they didn't part. We're not gonna make it. I'm sorry, it's been fun, but let's just go out there and go out with a bang or something. I don't even know. Sorry, guys, but I have to agree with Weatherly. We're doomed. I. Hey, guys. I. Lily? I was, um, wondering if I could speak to Cobalt privately. Lily, I, I, I can't do this again, okay? We're busy. Please, it won't be like last time. I swear, I've got something really important to tell you. Well, Lily, we still have to set up the stage, so you can take Cobalt for a few minutes while we get the instruments and amps ready, okay? But this is your last chance. If you do something weird again, you're not coming back. I, I know, I know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it again, okay? All right, let's make it quick. Ugh, <sighs> drum or what? You'll be fine. Look, if it's the same kind of thing as the party, I don't want to hear it. Okay, well, it's not. I'm sorry for what I did, and it was stupid and dumb, and I... I don't know. It was dumb. It doesn't matter, though. I'm not really here to talk to you about that. The main reason I'm here is that... You're obviously not happy. Ugh, I'm perfectly happy, Lily. Crystal, if... If you want to go and be with her... No, no, just just leave her out of this, okay? Le just... Go, just leave me alone. Hold on, I'm not finished. If there's anyone you want to be with, any girl, go do it. I do really want you to be happy, and I regret breaking up with you and doing that stupid thing, and this isn't about us. I regret 
you being lonely. I'm not lonely. Then this isn't your business. Please, just tell me. Why would I tell you anything? <sighs> okay. Please. Please. Please hear me out. I really love you. And I do really want you to be happy. And I do really want you to tell me what what's making you upset. Oh, wow, um, that makes a lot of sense, and I, I'm, oh, that just makes what I did so much worse. Yeah, so just please, leave me alone. Well, I definitely know what I should say now. Obviously, we're done setting up, and we need to start. Uh, yeah. Right, okay. <sighs> Alright then, Cobalt, go be with, go be with her. Okay? Go tell everyone exactly how you feel about her. Go. You... Go... Go be with her. Oh, no, Crystal, it's not... Whatever. Now that we're finally starting, proceed. You're sinking deep in quicksand You're buried under snow Need to get yourself out, but how you just don't know. No options, nowhere to run, nowhere left to hide. There's nothing left that you can do, there's no one by your side. Thankfully, that was a metaphor, real life isn't quite so literal because in real life there's always a way and we should stop making metaphors so damn general there's always someone on your side so hang on to your passion and pride there's always something Protecting, so stand your ground and start defending. That was really well put together. Great presentation. Ten points, you guys. Twenty five points to go. I don't give a lot of tens, but it's definitely a ten for me. Last time, I gave you ponies 8, because I thought you liked pop reform and competition. And I definitely don't regret that mark, because this was phenomenal. I hope I pushed you. 10. I thought your lyrics were abysmal. Song tune, abysmal. Presentation, abysmal. Tone colour, abysmal. Just so on. <sighs> However, I was pleasantly, well, pleasantly-ish surprised at how tolerable you were compared to the other bands. I would give you a... I'd give you a three, I think that's fair. We didn't pass. Hey, it's okay. We did really well. Um, Lyrica? What? You haven't let any pony pass. How are we gonna have a third round? What? But I... Uh, oh, um, well, we'll just let someone else in. Uh, go, pick a random band. Lyrica, the hall's empty. Oh my god, I can't believe what I'm hearing. Are we winning? I... no, this can't happen, but... Ugh. Seeing as no other pony was passed, you guys win by default. <sighs> I can't believe she let us pass. Honestly, I'm just ready to wake up. This has to be a dream. Well, no pony else got in. She said it herself. Yeah, um, guys? Yo, I, uh, we have something to tell you. Oh, um, and who is we? W well, me and Ginger. Oh, uh, right. On Thursday night, right after the first round of the competition, I received a text after I'd just gotten home from Cobalt asking me to meet behind the hall. And, um, I, I, I did. And, uh, we kissed. Well, congratulations, you two. 
I mean, let's be honest, everyone kind of knew you were- Good that you have your puzzle now. Must be nice. Uh, I- uh, c c c Congratulations! I- <laughs> Hey, wait! Crystal? Smooth moves, Mr. President. Hey, what did I do? Hmm, well, let's see. You flirted with a girl that you didn't actually have feelings for, got very close and romantic, then started ignoring her, then you go backstage with Lily, keep ignoring her, and then you don't kiss her, and then you leave. But yeah, you're totally in the right. I... oh. You really have some explaining to do. Yeah, you're right. I better go find her. I... What? no, I meant explain to us! Damn it. Don't worry guys, I can fill you in on why he did it. He just needs to explain it to her. <laughs> Crystal? <laughs> Crystal, I just wanted to talk to you. Get away from me! But Crystal? How am I supposed to know if you're lying or not anymore? Y you can't. I can't. You can. Just let me explain why. Why you flirted with me if you're... you're gay? Yes. Why? I, I wanted to trick myself into being straight. What? I hated the thought of being gay. Frowned upon, deemed lower than the rest. I didn't think it was natural. I was always brought up to think that way. When Fantasia started, I thought you were pretty, but... I thought Ginger was beautiful, and I didn't like the feeling of love towards something that was wrong to love, and I knew you liked me, so I tried to make my mind like you, but it didn't work, because it was a flimsy fake crush over actual love, and I gave up and texted him. I just, I just wish I'd, that I'd have told you. <laughs> yes. I'm so so sorry, Crystal. I'm I'm sorry. But apology accepted, Mr. Blue. But um, at, at least we can look at you guys together. <laughs> no way, you're booked. <laughs> <laughs> Say. Have you ever had any other stallion crushes? Um, uh, well, just the one. Just the one? Mm-hmm. Do you remember in 2009 there were those, you know, trading cards with world leaders like, uh, you know, Princess Cadence and Celestia on them? Oh yeah, famous roller trading cards. Well, uh, <clears throat> my, uh, my first was a uh, shiny armor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he was really hot, let me tell you. <laughs> I had him too! Those cheekbones! Yeah, yeah, and that picture with the hair! <laughs> yes, yes! Okay, that's a decent first crush. So, um, wanna go inside? <sighs> yeah. And I think we're gonna win pretty easily. Oh, are we now? Yeah. Yeah, we are. So, he was basically trying to trick himself into being straight. Oh, I see. We're back. And ready to practice. Yes! Oh yeah, that'd be amazing.